Hi friends, it's Miss Wilson and I'm here today with Betsy and Charlie and we're going to show you how to make a rainbow fish. We are going to use some items that you may already have around your home. Um, first thing, we're going to use celery for the stamping. Um, Betsy's holding um, celery, what it would look like if you bought it at the grocery store and we've already pre-cut the celery into smaller pieces for you to use to stamp. Um, to stamp, we're going to be using the washable um, paint. We're using Crayola, but certainly any brand or type of paint that you already have. And you have already received a copy of the Rainbow Fish template, which um, your mom or your dad or an older brother or sister could cut out or print out for you and, um, you know, have it ready. Right now, Charlie's going to demonstrate. Um, if you happen to have a googly eye sticker, you can certainly um, put it on or you can draw your own eye on the fish. So to make your own eye, you just draw a big, kind of a medium sized circle, and then draw a smaller circle inside the um, fish, the, the, the circle, and then color in that small um, circle so your eye looks like this. And you can also have bubbles, bubbles if you want to. Makes it look like more detail. So the next step is to um, select a piece of the celery that's already been pre-cut and you can um, kind of dab it in the paint. You know, they each have red, orange, yellow, green, blue, and purple. Betsy decided she might want to paint with a lighter blue and a pink um, on her fish. And Charlie is the light blue and also a lighter green. Whatever color you want to do, um, they're different fish in the ocean. We're just using um, kind of some more traditional rainbow colors. Warning, do not eat the celery after you put paint on it. I'm using the color orange right now. So am I. You make a little mistake. That is, maybe a, a, an oops can be a beautiful oops. If you want, maybe you could take your other hand and hold it down so it doesn't like wiggle or anything. It's okay if your fish look different. It just means that they're unique. And it's okay if paint gets on the table. We put down an old vinyl um, tablecloth to help pick up um, or help clean up paint spout. And if you happen to get a little bit of this paint on your clothes, it should come out in the wash. When it's finished, it might look something like this. That's a beautiful fish, Charlie. And you can see mine's not perfect, but it looks beautiful. We can't wait to see what type of fish you paint. Hopefully you will show them with Miss Parker so she can show them with the rest of the class. Betsy, can we see your fish? Yeah. I don't know if you should do this, but I was thinking about maybe putting like some colors up here to make it rainbowy. You can do whatever you want to on the fish. Well, we hope you enjoyed how to learn how to make a rainbow fish using celery and washable paint. Can't wait to see you next time. Bye.